Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn IPsec configuration in between two Palo Alto firewalls. So this is Palo Alto Firewall 1 and this is Palo Alto Firewall 2. And I have connected both firewall on the Ethernet 1 slash 1. The IP address of Ethernet 1 slash 1 on PA1 is 13.1.192.168.13.1. And on Palo Alto Firewall 2, we have 13.2 IP address. So before configure IPsec, we should check the reachability between the firewall. If there is no basic reachability, we will not able to configure the IPsec tunnel and we will not able to form the IPsec tunnel between these two Palo Alto firewall. So let's verify the basic reachability between these two uh, firewalls. So we'll ping uh, Palo Alto firewall 2 from Palo Alto firewall 1. So this is PA1. So ping source IP address, we are going to use source IP of uh, Ethernet 1 slash 1 that is 192.168.13.1 and the host will be 192.168.13.2 As you can see, we are able to ping from PA1 to PA2 Next, we are going to configure the IPsec tunnel between these two Palo Alto firewalls So before uh, configure, uh, we should create a tunnel interface on both the firewall so this is GUI interface of PA1 and this is GUI interface of PA2 so in PA1 we need to go under network interfaces then we have tunnel here we are going to add a tunnel interface so for example I am giving tunnel 1 so this will be tunnel 1 and then virtual router I am going to use as default and the zone I'm, I will create a separate zone for this tunnel interface so I'm using VPN tunnel and no need to configure any IP address however we can allow the ping on this interface that's it so we will commit here same thing we are going to do on Palo Alto firewall 2 so network interfaces tunnel add give uh, dot one so it will be tunnel dot one and then virtual router will be default I'm going to use and will create a zone separate zone for this that will be VPN zone and we are going to allow ping on this interface so we can do the troubleshooting if anything goes wrong so commit here now we will configure uh, IPsec crypto and IKE crypto on this Palo Alto firewall. So under network itself, we, we can see this is network profile. Here we can see IKE crypto and IPsec crypto. So if you click on IKE crypto here, we can see uh, three default profile. One is default and this is suite B GCM128 and, and this is 256. So if you want, you can create your own. Uh, your own IKE crypto profile, but uh, I'm going to use default profile on both the Palo Alto firewall So uh, you, you can verify this default profile here. We are using group 2 SH1 and the encryption technique I'm using AES 128 C CBC and 3DES and the timer values I'm using 8 hours. So this is for IKE crypto same thing you can verify IPsec crypto here also we have three default profile default should be GCM 128 and this is 256 so I'm going to use this default profile on both the Palo Alto firewall so this is the uh, encryption authentication and the lifetime values in default profile so next we, we are going to create a global protect uh, global protect IP first we need to create IK uh, gateway okay so click on add give any name uh, you can give uh, IK phase one you can give name like this and here we are going to use version I will use IK version one I'm not going to use IK version two so I will use IK version one address IPv4 uh, interface I'm going to use for this uh, Ethernet 1 slash 1 so local IP address it will be select automatically that is 13.1 of 
and the peer IP address it will be 13.2 so the peer IP address will be 192.168.13.2 and you also need to give pre-shared key so here we can give admin at the rate 123 same we will uh, we have to reconfirm this so admin at the rate 123 no need to configure local identification and peer identification but if you want you can configure it under advanced uh, exchange mode i am going to use the main mode i will not use the aggressive mode okay so you can if you want you can uh, you can also select the auto so if you are selecting auto by default it will use the aggressive mode but i want to use the main mode so i will select the main mode ike crypto profile so here you can see we are going to use the default profile so we have this de uh, default profile so we will use this default one and click on ok so once you configure ike gateway then next you need to configure the ipsec tunnel so you you can come here and click here ipsec tunnel then click on add give any name ipsec so this will be our phase 2 so i'm giving phase 2 and the tunnel interface uh, we are going to use tunnel 1.1 one, uh, dot one. so this uh, this interface we were created under network in uh, ethernet so this is our tunnel 1 auto key address type ipv4 and ike gateway uh, we are going to use uh, this ike phase 1 so the, uh, this ike gateway we have configured here and ipsec crypto profile we are going to use the default one proxy id we will discuss when we will configure ipsec tunnel between uh, palo alto firewall and the fortigate so right now i am not adding any proxy id here so if you if you like uh, for example if you want to configure ipsec tunnel between two palo alto firewall then you don't need to configure proxy id however when you, when you are doing the configuration with a different firewall then you have to configure the proxy id so we will discuss about this proxy id when we will configure the tunnel ipsec tunnel between fortigate and this palo alto firewall so click on ok then commit and same thing we, we are going to do here so first we will configure the ike gateway give any name so i i will give name ike phase one ipv4 and we are going to use ethernet 1 slash 1 the ip address will be 13.2 and peer address we can use 192.168.13.1 and then pre-shared key we, are, we have to use same admin at the rate 123 admin at the rate 123 and local identification peer identification i'm not going to use here Oh, I think we also modify the advanced option here we can use the main mode and IKE crypto profile I'm I'm going to use default one after that you also need to con uh, create IPsec tunnel then click on add give any name IPsec phase 2 uh, interface we are going to use tunnel 1 and the IKE gateway will be ike phase 1 and default then commit here so here come on pa1 commit is successful and pa2 we are waiting for commit okay so on pa2 also commit is successful however still we can see uh, this tunnel is down here we can see red color same thing we can also see on the pa2 red color so what we can do we can initiate the connection okay so we can do initiation from the cli so you can go here on pa cli of palo alto firewall one and uh, test vpn ike ike sa and then you have gateway our gateway we have created ike phase one so we are going to use 
so it is initiated so this is for ake gateway it is for the phase one and same thing you can do for phase two let's see whether phase one is up or not then we will do for phase two so that we can check it here let's verify yeah you can see phase one is up but it's still the phase two is down so we can also do the initiation for phase two so command is same test vpn ipsec sa then we have the tunnel then ipsec tunnel we have to give okay so should be ipsec phase 2 now if you see phase 2 will be also up okay let's wait here you can see phase 2 is also up now phase 1 and phase 2 both are up same we can also verify on Palo Alto firewall 2 here also we can both are up so if if like if Palo Alto firewall is not making the tunnel automatically then you can initiate these commands you can use test vpn command to initiate the connection from Palo Alto firewall once you initiate it they will try to form a ipsec tunnel okay that's it for this video in next video we are going to discuss ipsec tunnel between Palo Alto firewall and the fortigate firewall thank you so much for watching